So this is Hot Olives. This is just a very typical small business restaurant website and they have their navigation here. They've got some images and so on. And uh, and so now I, I can go to Duda Mobile and in fact, let me show you what we do. I'll do it from scratch. So here I'm just typing in the URL of the site that I want to convert. So now what we're doing is we're actually going and analyzing the desktop site and extracting the uh, you know the the site structure, the navigation, the color, identifying the the header and so on. And now we map it to this mobile optimized template. So here you can see here's the home page of the site laid out in a mobile in a mobile friendly view. I can click on happy hour specials. I can see all the content laid out here, very clean. If I want, I can apply different apply a different template. So it's going to change the background, some of the some of the stylistic elements of it. And you can see how that looks. Right? Now I'm going to switch back to the uh, to the default template. Okay. So now I'm going to actually do some editing of the site. So for example, I can let's get rid of the ads. You can do all the editing in line if you want. I can click on this and I could I could say, okay, I don't want to, you know, if I want to uh, Okay, actually, let me just show you here. Like, the header and logo, for example. Like, this is the header that we imported. If I want, I can edit it. I can shrink it down. Uh, I can align it to the left, let's say. Right, if I want, I could actually crop it. So you can do these things very easily. If I want, I could actually upload my own images. And so what you're going to see here, in fact, these are images that we extracted from the desktop website. So if I want, I could just swap. I could swap the header image with this if I want. Or if I want, I can upload my own images from my desktop. You know, I can do other things. These are very important things, like the click to call. I can just drag and drop this the, the click to call button. You know, you put in the uh, the actual business phone number. Uh oh. Well, we're, this is this is this is in beta, so. Okay, here we go. Uh, other things that I can do, I can open up the navigation. The home page, oftentimes desktop websites have like a home page button. It's really not used, not needed on a, on a mobile website, so I can just hide it. Uh, I can also do things like I can change the icons. So we always recommend customizing the icons to give it a much stronger visual appeal. So for example, I can use this. Uh, you know, for fine wines. So, we're, and you can, you also have the ability to upload icons. So we have got, we've got a bank of about 50 plus icons. We're adding more, but you have the ability to fully customize the icons. Uh, other things. So, for businesses, for retailers, for example, also a very big feature is the mobile maps. So by clicking on this, it'll automatically open up the map application on on the on the smartphone. And then again, let's see if I can get the uh, click to call working properly. Okay, I'm not going to customize it now. And this, we find that again, as I mentioned earlier, from our research with Google, we found that one in five consumers that visit a mobile website actually click on the call us now on the click to call button and contact that business. So we know that, you know, we know that from all the research that everybody's doing that people who browse mobile websites have a very, very high intent to purchase right then and there. So there, there's, a, there's a very strong sense of immediacy uh, and, you know, to, to performing an action. You know, there's other things like you can just delete content very easily. And anything that, when you pull in all this content from a desktop website, you just have to think there's a lot of duplicate content and a lot of content that's in, in the mobile site that you just don't need. So just think you want to have a nice, clean, fast performing website. Uh, really sort of streamline the content. If it's if it's graphic heavy, it just means that the site's going to take longer to load. You really want to minimize the load time on your websites to keep the consumers engaged and give them and let them get to the information that they're looking for in, you know as quickly as possible. So, and then we do we have other things like uh, again like. You can customize the background of the website. You can actually, you could do some pretty interesting things here, like with the navigation, for example. You can, 
let's see, you can completely change the color of your navigation. You could, you know, you really have a lot of control over the design. So if you didn't like this, this layout of the navigation, you can apply a different style. So there's a lot of flexibility in what you can in what you can do in designing the website and, and hopefully getting the you know getting a, a quality design out of it um, with minimal effort. And then again, as I mentioned, for power users, they could go straight under the hood. They could edit the CSS and HTML of the websites. We also have some advanced features here, like under pages, you can actually add a new page, like build a page from scratch. So if we didn't import it, it's not a big deal. You can just say, you know, my new page. And it's going to add a new page to my site. And now from here I can, you know, let's add a paragraph. And I, you know, this is my new page. And you can add an image to it. And again, you can upload an image from your computer. So it's pretty powerful. It's pretty powerful how easy it is to build a, a nice mobile website.